Do you guys see my skin right now? Do you see the clearness, the smoothness? It has not always looked like this. I struggled with acne for years. I had forehead breakouts, jawline breakouts. I would get these humongous pimples on my cheeks. It was embarrassing. I don't even have any pictures of myself from that era of my life because of how much it uh, really ruined my self-esteem. I tried everything to get rid of my acne. I cut out dairy. I went vegan completely. I bought really expensive skincare products and none of those things worked but there was something that worked for me and today I'm gonna tell you guys how to get rid of acne because I know from experience this is acne freeze new benzoyl peroxide deep cleansing foaming wash the star ingredient in this face wash is what cleared my skin and that is benzoyl peroxide so benzoyl peroxide kills acne causing bacteria that's underneath your skin it also helps your pores to shed dead skin cells and excess sebum and it does that thanks to the benzoic acid and thanks to the oxygen it helps to reduce inflammation and reduce redness so Acne Free's Benzoyl Peroxide Foaming Wash is a fast acting acne fighter. It's maximum strength. It contains 10% benzoyl peroxide, which has been recommended by dermatologists. And the amount of benzoyl peroxide that is in this wash is going to destroy your acne. But the thing with benzoyl peroxide that you need to be careful about is that it can really, really dry out your skin. One of the mistakes that I made with this ingredient starting out was that I left it on my face, like literally just left straight up benzoyl peroxide on my face, no moisturizer, nothing. And my skin was peeling like crazy. It was red, it was inflamed, it was really, really dry. So when you're using benzoyl peroxide, you need to use ingredients along with it that are moisturizing and that are going to soothe your skin. So in Acne Freeze Benzoyl Peroxide Foaming Wash, you have ingredients like oat extract, like ceramide, and like niacinamide because of this trio of ingredients you're not gonna run into the issue that I had where my skin was flaking and dry because these ingredients are going to protect the barrier of your skin so when you're using this wash you're going to be able to get all of the benefits of benzoyl peroxide without the negative side effects that sometimes happen like having really dry skin and peeling skin it is really rainy out so I am just gonna hold the microphone super close to my face so that we don't encounter or any um, extra noises but what I wanted to say is that you guys might have heard of Panoxyl face wash now this face wash has a similar concentration of benzoyl peroxide it's actually the same amount 10% as acne freeze benzoyl peroxide foaming wash but the difference between the two there's actually a major difference is first of all with acne freeze benzoyl peroxide foaming wash you get the three ingredients oat extract niacinamide and ceramides which are going to soothe your skin and not leave it irritated and reduce inflammation and reduce redness whereas panoxyl's face wash although it does contain the same amount of benzoyl peroxide it doesn't contain those three ingredients so you're more likely to get irritation with that face wash you're more likely to get dry skin, peeling skin. The second big difference between the two products is that Acne Freeze Benzoyl Peroxide Foaming Wash is $8.99 for five ounces. Panoxyl's face wash, depending on where you get it, it's gonna range from $9 to $12 for 5.5 ounces. So Acne Freeze, clearly it's less expensive and it's going to give you all of the benefits of benzoyl peroxide without the irritation. So how do you use acne freeze benzoyl peroxide foaming wash to get all of the benefits to get rid of your acne? So first you just want to wet your face with lukewarm water and then you're just going to dispense a little tiny amount of the face wash, emulsify it between your hands and wash your face. Technically it's not exclusively a face wash. You can use it on your face, you can use it on your chest and on your back. These are all places where I know from experience I have 
broken out profusely before. And then once you rinse off the face wash and you pat dry, you need to moisturize and you also need to make sure that you are applying sunscreen because benzoyl peroxide can make your skin more susceptible to sunburns. So I just apply sunscreen in the morning if I'm using this face wash. And obviously because at night I'm going to bed right after and I don't need to use face wash because I'm not gonna be, you know, exposed to sunlight. Also, I wanna point out that even if you are not gonna go outside for the day, you still need to use sunscreen because the sun can come through the windows and it can still impact your skin. If you are noticing that your skin is getting a little bit more dry with this face wash, what I recommend you do is apply a really, really, really thick layer of moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I recommend is to use in combination with Acne Freeze Benzoyl Peroxide Foaming Wash is their oil-free hydrating moisturizer. You don't even have to apply a separate SPF. So you guys can pick up Acne Freeze Benzoyl Peroxide Foaming Wash at CVS and at acnefree.com and cvs.com. Links in the description of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you end up trying out Acne Freeze Benzoyl Peroxide Wash, make sure you let us know in the comments below how it works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this video useful and I will talk to you guys next time.